I think ceramics are the only thing that I can use here. Okay, let's get them crystals. Oh yeah, we stole some of those ceramics from those guys as well. Start on that. I feel like the distro center is surely going to have a lot of resources. There we go. It's a junkyard element here as well. Here we go. Yeah. It's good to be back. Ah, I probably didn't take what I need to take from here. Take these as well. Just hand them in. All right. It took 20 of the 40 to get here. I think that's pretty good. Sam Bridges for you. That's what we do. We always get the job done. Too, man. That looks like we're making some legit progress west, right there. Sorry, I forgot what's true. Sam, with the help of the Cairo network, we've recovered experimental data which should provide a boost to our ongoing research and development initiatives. As a matter of fact, we've already made one breakthrough that can be applied to our weapons programs. Hematic rounds anti-BT ammunition that utilizes the unique properties of your own blood. Right. However, it's important to remember that with each shot fired, you'll be expending a small quantity of your own blood. And depending on the situation, you may be better off switching back to conventional ammo. Further details can be found in the list of equipment available for fabrication. No problem. That's nice. Okay, so finally... 
uh, you have one weapon that can deal with both. I think that's definitely useful. There we go. It worked? Oh, oh that's great. We can starve it for info. And if we run into any more trouble, we can get the word out sooner. I can't thank you enough. All right, Sam. There aren't any more stops to make before Mountain Knot City. But this last leg will be the hardest yet. Rest up at the private room and check your gear before you set out. Your work is great. Okay, so for this one, uh, I think I will leave my truck here and we're going to go the rest on foot. Because I think it's going to be more fun. It'll be more epic to try and get to Mountain Knot City without trying to drive a truck through everywhere. We've had our fun with it and we've pulled over a lot of resources. and his people came. They finally reached Echinoth City. There's no escape for me now. Everyone's dead, the city's destroyed, and what's left is crawling with BTs. They're everywhere. Where's your Kipu? But I was able to sneak away and reach out to you. This might be our last chance to talk like this. I just wanted you to know that I'm safe. For now. Promise me you'll keep building the Chiral Network. It's our only hope for the future. It's my only hope for freedom. And when you've finished, we can go back east together. Amelie, your keeper, where is it? Sam, I'll be waiting for you on the beach. Oh boy. Twists and turns continue. Okay. So yeah, I, the trouble with all of this stuff is is that it's just so difficult you know, to know what's real and what isn't. It's like you know he, we saw what looked like a dream there, but then you have Amelie appearing as a hologram, but the hologram also doesn't have the uh, the Kipu thing that he talked about. So, was it real? Was it not? Is the hologram still Higgs tricking him? So that whole thing was real, then it's just been Higgs's game all along. I mean, the only thing that hasn't changed is the fact that obviously uh, Amelie is very suspect, and it looks like that they're trying to drag him towards the West, but there really is very little evidence in my eyes that she, she is genuinely alive and there, and like everything's working out the way it should be. Everything's setting itself up for a big twist in that sense, but I guess at, at this point it seems so obvious that obviously something is wrong there, that it would be a bigger twist if she really was there for me, I think, because we only ever seen her as holograms, and now that scene that we just saw with Higgs and he takes the, the keeper from her, he kills her on the beach, but then she appears as a hologram and all that kind of stuff, so it's all, in that sense, it's all very... Um, you know, there's a lot of red herrings in there, I think. 
and they're trying to do our best to keep us guessing in terms of what's going to happen when we reach Edge Knot City. So there's not too much for me to speculate on. We're just going to have to to get on with it and see if we can make our way there. And we'll see how it goes. So let's have the shower because he's looking rather filthy. And maybe we'll read some emails and then we'll move on. Right, let me quickly check the emails. They're saving our buddy. Okay, yeah. Right, let me head out there and get myself set up for the, the final path towards Mountain Knot City. Time for some more mads. So Maz looks like he might have been killed. And only his BT form exists. Righty. Wow, well, that's 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 hey, been Sam, a while. I have some new info you should hear. I forgot you were in the game. Recently recovered thanks to your efforts to expand the chiral network. It um it concerns BBs. I dug this up on my own, just to be clear. No one ordered me to look. And if anyone asked, Put it all on me. No need for you to deal with any blowback. You were just listening to me ramble on the wire, okay? Anyway, it looks like Bridges wasn't the first to bring back BB Tech. It was a group of separatists. Terrorists opposed to UCA expansion, according to the records. They started using them about three years ago. Right around the time Bridges 1 was putting plans in place to head west. Seems these Separatists were having trouble with BTs too. And figured that if they could track them, they might be able to steer them into our path. When Bridges caught wind of this, the decision was made to fight fire with fire, to start using BBs as a countermeasure. It's possible yours was commissioned for that very purpose, a fact I think someone may have tried to conceal, judging by the absence of BB-28 service record. I always found it strange that we were so willing to utilize technology we barely understood. Now we know why. We've been aping methods and techniques employed by others from the start. There's more you should know. It's about the original Bridge Baby experiments. Piecing together what little I could find, it looks like they started around the time of the Death Stranding. They were conducted on the island of Manhattan, off the East Coast which was completely and utterly obliterated by what was almost certainly a void out. Back then, these experiments had the full support and approval of the American government. It's all just guesswork, but I suspect the BP program was conceived to help gain a better understanding of the nature of the Death Stranding. However, due to ethical and safety concerns, public opinion was strongly against the program. Still, they pressed on, and in their desperation to make sense of the greatest disaster of their age, I think they caused another. I should also mention that the president himself was killed in the blast. It was after his death, when he was succeeded by then Vice President Strand, that the experiments were suspended by executive decree. Documents were shredded, facilities were decommissioned, and every effort was made to pretend that BBs had never even existed. Which begs the question how some random separatist group was capable of resurrecting the tech decades later. I'll let you know if I turn up anything enlightening. I mean, clearly they're not that random then. Sam, check the delivery terminal and review the list of orders. Alright, okay. I mean... How underutilized has the codec been in this game so far? 
it's that that's something that's genuinely disappointed me a bit because I I do love the codec. Uh, even when the codec calls are really long, like I don't mind. I c generally, the dialogue is always good enough from Kojima games that it's never bothered me. So the fact that we've had so little codec throughout the entire game, like I'd forgotten that, I'd forgotten all about Deadman. To be honest, it's probably been like more than five hours since we heard anything from him. Uh, we haven't heard anything from what was it, Cold, Cold Hartman or something? Haven't heard anything from him. So like, there's a codec here. And it could have been put to so much better use, but I feel like it's... I mean, he, he put it in as like a throwback to the MGS games, but I feel like that could have very easily... What we just had there could have easily been a hologram um, dialogue scene as well. And he's like, oh shit, we need to, to put some more codec in there. And it just it seems like it was shoehorned in a bit. It's just a shame. I feel like it could have been a bit better utilized. But what do I know? The people of Mountain Knot City have a pressing problem that needs to be addressed. A tar-like substance has been bubbling up from beneath the ground near them. They're seeing more of it by the minute, and it won't be long before it spreads into the city. There have already been reports of ejecta inside the outer walls. If nothing is done, the whole city might be swallowed by a sea of tar in the near future. There's an order from Mountain Knot City. Check the details on the delivery terminal. Okay, what's the deal? Antimatter bomb delivery. Whoa. Okay, this looks like it's gonna be tough. 80 kilograms as well. Sheesh. Okay. That firearm can be loaded with thematic rounds. It's fitted with a dot sight as well. Sweet. Should improve your aim. Yeah, I was going to look into that auto aim thing. It was getting a bit annoying. So I think that's cool. This distro center doesn't have a huge amount of stuff, to be fair. Um, I think I've got plenty of the... I think I'm going to build the power skeleton at this stage. Get another one. And discard the old one. And we'll go from there, I think. I don't know why, but the, the text on the top left is blurry a little bit. I don't know if it's to do with super sampling. Because I'm on the PS4 Pro now, but I'm still playing on a 1080p TV. That's something I hope to upgrade um, in like the next month or two. Uh, I turned on super sampling to see if it's really going to enhance the, the visuals a bit. I think super sampling should be when it actually renders it in a higher resolution but kind of down downscales it to, to 1080p, so you have a more detailed 1080p than you would if it was just native. So that's what I believe it is. And maybe that causes some visual things as well. I don't know. Um, yeah, okay. All right, here we go. Be advised, Sam. The case for that antimatter bomb was not designed for long distance transport. The magnetic traps that keep the antimatter sequestered are delicate. A powerful impact, reckless driving, an unbalanced carrier. There are all kinds of ways the traps could fail. Any abnormalities detected within the case should trigger an alarm. If it goes off, you're doing it wrong. And if the bomb goes off, we'll have a disaster on our hands. The kind we can't come back from. That looks dangerous. So we're going to have to make some decisions here. to make some decisions. What are we going to take with us? Oof. Two kilometers. Yeah, of course this area is going to have time for. That's not a surprise. Some safe houses along the way. That's nice. But I'm pretty sure this is going to be where the roads end. Mules as well. Okay. Uh, 
let's take a look. Got a lot of shit in here. Okay, so I recycled a bunch of stuff that I feel like I'm not going to use at this stage. Yeah, we've got a nice little boost here. That's good to see. Um, now. Gonna need. I've already got four. Okay. I'm wondering what I will do, I think, is probably take a trike with me. Because that has a greater chance of actually getting me through certain areas. So I'll probably fabricate a long range trike. And then from when I can't go on, so when there's like, let's say, time fall, I'll probably just abandon it and then take like a, a floating carrier with me or something like that. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, fabricate equipment, long range trike. We'll go for the Akira color scheme. That is a sexy bike. Alrighty. Now, let me... Can I not store anything on here? I'm pretty sure I should be able to. No? What the hell? Hold on. That's not right. I thought I could store something in here, but I guess either everything I have is too big. Yeah, this isn't as efficient. This is a di this wasn't how I wanted to ride out, but uh, let's just make sure we're okay here. Yeah, can't seem to to put it onto the bike, which is a shame. I'm gonna go with it for now. And uh, when it's actually time to properly be on foot, then I'm just going to change. I'm going to change that up for the floating carrier. Go for it. I do wonder how fragile this uh, this antimatter bomb really is. Okay. Go in here. Okay. Let the fun begin. Well, that looked cool. Just gonna have a look at this road over here, see what it needs. Maybe it's close. Oh wow, is this a level 3 one? Oh wow. Okay, that's a bit flashy. So I think this is one I was working on already. It needs about 400 metal. And again, about 320 ceramic. 320 is just about not enough actually. Shit. I think I'll probably complete that road. I should have enough resources in the distro center. And we'll go from there. I build a trusty watchtower here, like they always do. Okay. 
detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Okay. Punch the bike. Damaged by vibration. Really, it's that fragile. Holy shit. It really is. It really is fragile as fuck. Gonna leave the bomb here for a sec. I think 400 was enough to cover it. Just in case I'll get a 50. And ceramics. Ah, shit. Oh, wait, no, there is enough. And we'll take one of these. Okay, if my mass didn't fail me, that should be enough. Ugh. not enough to take on the bike. Alright, get that on your back. Get that on your back and let's go. So now I can finish the road and get on the road. Almost up to 80,000 lights myself now. It's definitely looking much healthier. I've been seeing people like 200,000 and kind of feeling a bit crap. Finish this off and then we can go. Alright, we have ourselves a road. I'm sure, someone will benefit from that. Now then. It seems simple enough, we just gotta cross through. So this was the easy part. <laughs> Nothing too treacherous about grassy fields. Novelist Sun. I haven't even encountered that place yet. So, stupid question, but are these zip lines one way? I don't know if they have some technology, some anti gravity technology shit that allows you to go both ways. I assume not, but the technology in this game is weird like that. If you can just build, if you can 3D print roads, I'm sure you can do. Of the ship. Right, okay. I'm not even sure if I have a PCC anymore. Let's just see how close we can get to this hill before the terrain starts getting really dodgy and we start to get time for and such. Okay, why am I being told this information now? Probably because I'm about to in encounter some gunfire. 
I'll try and straddle the right side because we have a safe house and stuff on that side. And we have a mule camp here. Okay. Right. So I'm probably going to head into this area and try and clean out these mules before proceeding further. <laughs> 